lovelies. Welcome to Vlogmas week three. As you would have seen there, seven thirty-eight. I will not be going back asleep until seven thirty-eight Sunday because I had the genius idea. I want you to do an all-nighter. So, I mean, I've got to stay awake now for 24 hours. Fun. Let me just tell you, okay, it is cold. You can tell we're definitely getting into a almost freezing point. I think the other morning I woke up and it was like minus two. Ay, ay, ay. So, whew. what have we got to look forward to this week? Catching up on advent calendars. We've got to do the tedious task of taking all the tea lights out and swapping them out. And we can put the ones in from the advent calendar that Caroline got us. I need to put my clothes away. Oh, it's going to be a great task. That's something that I'm definitely going to have to do tonight. I think make use of being awake throughout the night. Editing. A lot of filming today. Trying to get prepared for next week as... I have my Christmas works due Friday, so you might have a little like get ready with me. I don't know if that will be in this or a separate video. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, me and Mum are hopefully going to make some gingerbread houses. That will be a separate video. And yeah, today's got to be a productive day because tomorrow I will be sleeping all day. I will be sleeping all day. I have ordered the food for this week's taste test. So we haven't got to go out Sunday, which is good, as I say, because I thought if I do actually manage to stay up all through the night, which I hope I do, I really hope I do, um, I'm not doing anything Sunday. <laughs> Sunday is gone. Um, also, I've got Harry and Meghan to watch. Yes, Harry and Meghan to watch. And then just a general pot around, really. So for now, I need to just sort out today's video, which is home since going up. I need to sort out like the thumbnail and everything like that. So I'm going to do the boring work as always. And then I'll probably start editing and check in with you. So let's see how long it takes me to edit. I have a feeling it's going to take me a while. I really do have a feeling it's going to take me a while because I haven't done any editing. So I've got two vlogs that are currently, <laughs> the footage for both vlogs combined is about five and a half hours. Oh, that's very long, isn't it? Yes, that is very long. So I uh, need to chip chop them down, get them exported. So I'll see you in a bit. But yeah, happy Saturday. coming and was like, I didn't know if you was awake because your door was shut. I was like, I've been awake since 7.38 this morning, mother. And I will be up until that tomorrow. So, once I've got this one edited, I think what I'm going to do is crack on editing the second one. And then I need to film one clip for that. Get that done. Then that can start to export. I'm hoping there's not going to be any delays in timing. But um, mum just put me the plate of leftover food from last night, the previous vlog. Because so I was like, you know what, editing is it's hungry. It makes me hungry. So yeah, I've got about, we've got 40 minutes of the vlog left to edit. So fingers crossed I'll get that done. I've done the intro. Let that do its thing. Actually, while that's exporting, I might jump in the bath, come out, freshen up. I would say get back in my pyjamas. Mm. I might get in my snoody, and hopefully if that's exported, I can start cracking on with the next editing. If not, I'll start to get ready to film. If not, I'll potentially put my clothes away. 
I also want to catch up a lot of my receipts tonight. So I think tonight is going to be like productive. I need to make the most of it. So yeah, stuff in my face. Heading away. The joys of our vlogmas, eh? Half twelve. And I finally finished editing. That's just the first vlog. I need to get the second one edited as well. Crap. I really hope there's going to be no delays getting it in tomorrow. And half twelve, guess what we started having? Drilling. Mm. Wow. So to say that I'm going to have a nice relaxing bath, I don't think it's going to be the case to be perfectly honest i'm gonna have a bath and then i think i'm gonna come out see what the noise is like because i can't be sitting down doing main filming if there's drilling in the back so it might be i'll have a bath freshen up or actually no because well i oh know because i can't even edit until that's exported because the thing with iMovie is if you start to edit something else while something's exporting, it kind of stops it. And they're saying it's got an hour and a half to export, God. So that's not going to get into YouTube to maybe like 3 o'clock. So it's going to have 18 hours to upload. And I don't know if it'll be uploaded in time. Right, while that's doing, because I can't do anything about it just yet, I think I will jump in the bath. Jump in the bath, freshen up, brush my teeth, get ready for the day, and then we'll see what the situ is when I come out of the bath. Oh, Canon. Canon. I really need to, like, put some lights on, don't I? Guys, you will see me once I am, hopefully, a lot fresher looking than this. <laughs> you might think, Chanelie, what on earth is in your hair? I've got loads of dry shampoo. <laughs> I've put loads of dry shampoo in it. Because I cannot start filming yet. Let's put you there. Do you know why I can't start filming yet? It is, what is it now? Quarter to two. We've had drilling, we've had banging, and now we've just had a bed being delivered and it's getting put together. So, I had my bath, I had a little bit of a read. I was feeling chill. I could hear the banging and that, but I felt chill. Mum then said to me, Shan, there's a bed going on, you know, and just think. And then I could hear, like, a drilling, like you're putting something together. I can't actually go around there because I am at the point now. I will do something and you will not have a vlogmas because it will be me who gets arrested. So I banged up on the ceiling and you know what he'd done? He stamped down and said, ha ha. So I blared my music out for 25 minutes come out i'm trying to relax mum is doing a log logs are pointless because no one gives a crap about the logs the logs are not worth the paper they're written on so mum's just been in and out saying to me what day was this and what day? and i said mum i'm going to shut my bedroom door because if i keep talking over this I'm going to do something because I can feel I'm getting very, very riled. So I can't film yet. So again, my weekend has been disturbed. I have not had a peaceful weekend since Halloween. End of October. And here we are, middle of December. I've not had one Saturday where I've not had to deal with drilling or banging above my head until God knows what time. So the video... It's got 20 minutes before I can put it into YouTube and then I'm going to edit the next vlog. I need to try some bits on for the second vlog and insert that in. And then I'm going to try and get some filming done that doesn't involve me talking. So I've got a few videos I can do with that and I'm going to blow my music out again. I feel, I think I said it in the other vlog, I feel like a ticking time bomb. Six weeks without a peaceful weekend, I mean, come on. It's taking the mick a bit now, ain't it? So, um, yeah, I've already opened the Baileys. I've got a nice glass of Baileys that I'm going to tuck into. 
I turn the lights off. I have put my galaxy projector on. The Christmas tree is on. I'm trying to make everything as zen and peaceful as I can. So I thought while that's doing its thing, I sprayed my hair with dry shampoo because I was going to wash it. I just couldn't be bothered. So I thought I'll do that. While I'm editing and doing that, the hair can be trying to not get greasy. Then I can try them bits on. And then if there's still noise and I can't film, I might be able to do one. The other, I might have to wait. And then I might put my clothes away. Then tonight, I want to watch Netflix. I want to do receipts. I want to stay up. And that is the plan. So it's basically like I'm in isolation again. Because I don't feel like I need to leave my room. Because if I leave my room and I hear the noise in other rooms, I'm just going to get more aggy. So I'm going to stay in here. Stay in this little area. Um, try and calm down looking at my lovely Christmas tree. Have some Baileys. I might just have to leave the room to go and top up the drink. Or maybe switch over to the gin or the mulled wine. And see how it goes. So hopefully I will speak to you once I've edited that. And I can actually maybe get a bit of filming done. Who knows. But I need to do a segment for last week's vlog. Trying on some gym wear that I was very kindly sent. Bear in mind I'd stuffed my face this morning of the leftover party food. <laughs> so that's um, that's not great, is it? That's not great. But I read some more of my book in the bath. Oh my god, it's getting so good. I've got um an hour and 20, it says, at the bottom left of it. So I think potentially I might finish my book off as well. Just tying up all those little loose ends, you know? But what do we think of my snoody? It's not necessarily a snoody. It's kind of like the very first generation of snoodies. This was from Primark, my goodness, years ago. And it's just a snoody. Well, it's kind of like a long nighty. It's a fluffy nighty. It's got pom-poms. It's got hood. And it's got reindeers on. So I thought it was very festive. Time started in Shad. <laughs> Total of milk videos. My, I just put the front little one on that for. My middle nail has now snapped below the nail bed, so I've had to glue that to oblivion, and we're just going to see how that holds up. I've got my Baileys. Vlog part one is uploaded. It's only on twenty percent. It only took it three hours to get to 20%, so now I'm thinking there's going to be a delay. Great. Haven't been able to do any filming because we've had a van crash building of a bed upstairs. I got to the point of an actual breakdown, you know, where you have so much frustration and anger. I got to that point. So I locked myself in my room. So I'm now finishing my babies, but... I need something to warm me up. So I'll do some old wine. So we are going to, I'll do it just for me because mum will probably pop to her friends in a bit. But I just want, just a little one. I'm not gonna, uh, enough for two glasses after. Yeah. I'm not gonna put any oranges in it because it's just for me. I'll just chuck me wine on and have a nice little glass. It is cold, like really cold, and I don't know why. Oh, mum says she's putting the heat back on. Wow, that's expensive today. 
How long have you had the heating on today? Uh, 10 to 2, about 60p an hour. 240. 3.31 already on gas and 140 electric. I don't think the electric's too bad because my laptop hasn't been off since yesterday, no, 5 o'clock. 240, 40p standing charge or 50p. That's 280. 320, 50p for above. That's right. Because the standing charge for the gas is between 40 and 50. But I think the standing charge on the electric is about, what is it now, 50p or something? I don't think the electric's about, because so my laptop and yeah. everything's been on charge today, it hasn't been. But I, I, I'm not worried about electric, because we get that 66 quid. But also, it's on the, the gas they get you on. Yeah, but it said in the paper that now this cold snap, people have started to put the gas on in there. Well, I've seen something this morning, I don't know how true. Apparently Rishi Sunak has approved... Coal mining again? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that, but ain't that bad? Uh, well, I don't know that the ozone layer because the coal, I think it all the pulled it puffs out or something, isn't it? But I suppose I don't know because I've seen. I always paper. thought coal mining was bad because of like it was deaths and that. It's suppose, dangerous. I suppose it would be modern now because I'm not sure whether there's a coal mine in the last one in Wales because the one up near Dens shut down, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think coal mining was right. I'm just thinking, sure. I think, yeah. Right. I mean, it's only a week later, but we haven't had any of our cupcakes from no. Molly Rose. What one do you want? Uh, you pick yours first. I'm going to have the white Russian Baileys. Oh, I'm just going to get a bit too tight. Just to go with my whole thing of Baileys. These are the cupcakes that we got from Molly Rose Bakery when we went to see the Auschwitz last week. Um, what's, this, mm. what's this one? Just What's chocolate? That's Ferrero Rocher, that's gingerbread, that's vanilla. What's that one? Ferrero Rocher. Oh, but you like that, didn't you? Yeah, I've got it. it. What one's that? Bailey's. Oh, you got Ferrero Rocher, Bailey's, ginger. Uh, well, should oh. we have half each? We can try a couple. No, no, I'll have this one, the vanilla. Thank you. Why is Russian? Because you like the uh, Ferrero Rocher, don't you? So we have had them a week, but hey ho. And what was they, four quid each? Yeah. That's standard, I think, now. Yeah. Because La Pitta just... La Pitta the Yeah. yeah. You, you, you've got a bit thing on the end of your nose, I think, with the, with the cream. Oh. <laughs> I think now, you know that thing in Romford next to the Metro? Mm. When we were... I saw a slice of that, and that was 4 95 And that's just a slice, isn't it? We've got cupcakes, are not bad. Oh, it's got a slight crunchy top, but I think just if mm. you well, bang the middle. Yeah. But I think if you want it soft, loom, we should have ate them on that day, or maybe a day or so later. But they're not rock hard; they're still soft. I've had week old cupcakes that you can't even bite into. No. Mine must have had some type of filling in it. Yeah, they're probably the baby's filling. Tonight I'm filming the evening routine, so you won't see me making dinner, but Is you'll see the end hours, result. Yeah. No, not 24 hours oh. yet. Are there some bits you got for the 24 hours? Yeah. They're so nice. Well, I see them and I thought, oh, if I get another thing, spray can because it was empty. That's what we had last year, but yeah, I like them. them. The little uh, cakes with all the snow and the things. Then we've got pasta and the sauce. We've got a few things there, so we really, because with, with the pasta, you're doing that as a lunchtime thing. Mm. Or evening. Depends. So I need to try and get some crumpets. Mm. And there may be a couple of bit more for the uh, lunch or whatever if we have it lunch or tea. Honestly, come like. What did we get them last year? That's to that, wasn't it? Well, I've got all the cold red on the top lip. <laughs> it's only an old jump of yours. Crumpets are normally like as to a isn't they, for yeah. Christmas? Oh, well, you've ordered. Did you not order them tomorrow? There weren't any oh. on there. Um. I'm like September in the kitchen 
we should have like big bags because you have like your autumn food then we start buying bits for like the halloween food then it's like your winter food and then it's the supermarket so at the minute just under here is the start of the build up of the 24 hour christmas food and then over there we've got like the taste test and the yule log starting to get built up Cass is having a little we've supermarket we've only got two haven't we huh Moment, every time you take a break. Yeah. I'll have a look at I'll pop out and work and see if I can find any. Again, could you not see that thing tomorrow? Not got them until the 18th, isn't it? Not even online. It's like a, I don't know what that was, maybe like a caramel centre? I'll leave it there a little bit because that ice cream. I'm going to try the ice cream. I've got loads of shizzle in my teeth, I'll have to sort that out in a minute. I'm going to finish my Baileys, have a glass of mulled wine, fill myself up. Then you would have already seen it beforehand at the beginning, the collab with the gym brand, Yvette. I need to try gym wear stuff on now after I've just had Baileys and mulled wine, but hey ho. All about real bodies though. And um, there's a lot of Baileys, right? Huh? Well, it is the festive period. I've got me um, chocolate baileys as well in the uh, fridge. Yeah, but we've got a load of others in there. I know. I've got red velvet, an apple pie, and my tobacco gold chocolate rum. Oh, that is what I'm looking forward to, let me tell you that. And then also for the 24 hours. It's nice. Huh? The rum's nice. It's uh, I liked it. It's a Bailey's, but it's got rum in it. It's not rum. It's oh. not Bailey's, because it's rum. It's not oh. Irish cream. Oh. It's a chocolate rum cream. Oh. And we can try the panettone on the 24 hours, because I'm very excited to get into that. And a lot of people said, with the tin after, you can put like little ball balls in it. Use it as storage. I thought it was quite a good idea. I need the small ones. Put the ball balls in. Got some napkins left. I'll be using your glass. Make sure it don't crack. That's right, because I had mulled wine in it oh. the other day. I'm going to reuse my uh, glass from Caroline. Oh, you only just warmed it through. I ain't doing enough for one little glass. Yeah, yeah. What's the glass on, Shatter? I've done it yesterday. Oh, oh, right. Perfect. Oh, Perfect amount for one glass. I still always spill it on the side. Oh, cool. Just what I need to warm myself up. I'm going to put it back on. You're going to go back in the bath again later. Later, I actually need to be somewhat productive. Yeah. Oh. We'll keep the pan though, because that can be our little mulled wine pan. It sounds really silly, but Look when that here because it's hot. It sounds really silly, but I want to have like a pan whenever I move out that is purely my mulled wine pan. Oh. People might think that's excessive, but I'm like, no, I want a mulled wine pan. I'm a very just excessive put person. Just put it on there because, uh... Has Dada started using his pans yet, though? I went for Christmas last year. Well, I, th I think so. I I'm not, not sure because the box is in the back room. I'll have to have a look because I tidied the cupboard this week. Cleaned I it all out, pans last year like ours. I still don't think he's using it. Oh, I found out my budget today. He called me. And he said, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, well, I've got a few bits. I said, I've got a few bits. And he was like, well, how much? I was like, well, i just got a few bits. I said, like, just let me know what the budget is. And I'll, like, <laughs> you can allocate your presents towards him. So he said, and a man, I was like, you're feeling generous. He's like, no, he's like, you always get more than your mother. But I got double mum this year. So I was like, oh, you had a win on the football? He's like, nah. I was like, oh. No, but I'll treat dad the same. I, I, I think maybe he feels a, a little bit guilty because when I do the chores, I've looked the bathroom this week. I think I've got more because his main present is so expensive this year. But he still had a lot more out of that. What do you mean? His main present to me? No, the main present of the heater. Oh, yeah. He'll have to come up with the truck and get it, wouldn't he? He's going to come up the week of Christmas and get it. But that's not obviously his only. He's got like a lot of stuff and I bought something last minute for us to go and do. So that's, he's still got a fair way. That's just for you and Dad though, isn't it? Oh, the daughter and father thing. It's nothing sentimental. No, but he'll like that probably. Can it's, I have a little glass? It's getting drunk. drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot. Drink from the front bit because I drink from oh, the back bit. Right. Careful because it's going to be hot in right. your hand. Hold it on the stem. It's, um, it's not a sentimental father daughter thing. It's basically just going to get drunk. <laughs> so it suits us just fine. <laughs> oh, but the you thing is, I can't drive. I'm going to be driving. 
Oh, yeah, but... but no, nah, of course. There's a pub and hotel like five minutes away. I might just drive up the night before, book it for a Saturday. And what, and you and Dad stay in the hotel? Well, separate yeah. rooms. I don't have any in my room. <laughs> Dealing with his snoring. Oh, I might do that. Save having to take a day off work as a holiday. Let's drive up on a weekend. When is it? Next week you booked it. I mean, next year. we got 12 months in it yeah, when you yeah. use it. Oh, you can do it in the summertime and have like a little road trip. Eh? And I have seen something for his birthday that's coming back. And I was thinking I was very tempted to book it. But it is so expensive. It's a lot more expensive than it originally was. Well, we will rock you. Mm. How much now? It's coming back for June and July next year. On his birthday? Yeah. What did it used to be then? 100. Yeah. It's over double now a ticket. No! So part of me did think, okay, that would be fun. But I'll chip in, but we've got to get him there. And he don't do public transport. So we'd have to get a cab all the way to London. <laughs> Because if he was on the train, look at look what happened with that with man on the, on the bus. Yeah, I can't yeah. deal with him on public transport. So that's, uh, I was going to book it, but then I thought I need to be sensible about this. Because if not, 400 quid's a lot of money if he doesn't want to yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure this one would come along to it. I mean, it wouldn't be a wasted thing, but it's a lot of money to pour out if he weren't going to enjoy and, and it. Like, I I would actually really like to go see that because the reviews on it are really good. Yeah, but also it's it's a jump two hundred pound from a hundred pound, Shannon. Just to see we brought her. We were walking. No, was his man Freddie Mercury? Well, it's obviously not Freddie Mercury, is it? No, no, but the. Uh, the I don't even know who plays it. It's not even like Adam Lambert. It's just we will rock you. With ben it, used, it used to be Adam Lambert. Not that we will rock you play. Adam Lambert used to tour with Queen. Oh, that's, that's yeah, completely yeah. different. Oh, the right. tickets for that was like three, four hundred quid each. I saw him. Oh, right. So, um, yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> do I get it now for his birthday? But then I thought, mm, no, I won't. I'll see. I we'll might see subtly drop. I might see how he reacts to his Christmas present because that's him having to go out and speak to people. You, you and him. So we'll have to see how he gets on with that. If he seems all right with that, or if he says to me, I'm not doing that, you and your mother are going, well, then I'll know not to book the tickets. But I might still book the tickets and me and you go, because I do really want to see that. Oh, okay. Because okay. I was on the West End for 10 years. What, at the uh, Dominion? Dominion? It's not at the Dominion anymore. It's at London Coliseum. Where's that? I don't know. It's not too, looking at it, I would know vaguely, but it's a theatre we haven't been to. Oh, right. Oh, well, that's one, one thing. So we have a new one, yeah. I like Sister Act one. Just that tube around the corner with that. That was Hammersmith, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Big, big joke is where we had the breakfast. Bills. Bills, yeah. So, yeah. I definitely want to have something next year. I think we've done quite good, though. I said, like, for this year, I wanted once a month memory days. I think we've done quite good. At least once a month, we've either gone for a meal or had a show attraction day out. I think we've actually stuck to it quite well this year. Well, my friend's uh, mum, she said next week, wrap up, because they went. But she said that we did a few things, but it was so cold, they played in the car park then. I would never drive to Hyde Park. No. I couldn't think, I'd, I couldn't think of ag. Because what have we got? Because I said ours was 70 odd, wasn't it? But that's the interesting. We've got we've... Ice Kingdom, the Ice Bar. Oh, yeah. The Giant Wheel and the Bratwurst Sausage. That's the meal, wasn't it? And then you get a beer with that in the entrance fee. Yeah. And that's for 70. I don't think that's too bad. No, because how much is the entrance now then? Because she said if you go a certain time, it's free. I think an entrance is like a fiver. It's just something. But they always advise you if we're one land to book in advance. So if we paid a fiver to go in then, you've got to make sure that that badge was... You've got a chance that you can No, get but the, the odd thing's making up. How much would it cost to add the Budweiser? A ten of that little sausage? Bratwurst. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because it's a bratwurst, two sides and a drink that was 20 quid each, which I didn't think was too bad, because I had oh, that yeah, last 20. year when I went. And then what's it to get in? Uh, Fiverr. Fiverr. So it's 25, 30, 40. Three quid. attractions, your ice bar, you get a cocktail in with it. Oh, right. Oh, so it was worth paying 70 quid then. So, was it 70? It was about 70, 75 yeah. each. But at least with that as well, I think by pre-booking, you don't have the hassle of going there and thinking, oh, I really want to go to the Ice Kingdom and it's not there. No, but by pre-booking. We booked this in like October. Have you not got a time to be at them certain attractions? Yeah, so you book the time, so oh, that at right. least you can guarantee an entry slot. Oh, I see what you mean. But just because we've got food, 
I'm still going to the pig in blanket store. I'm still going to my churro store. Oh, you There's a big long skewer where they slice the potatoes so thinly, then deep fry it, so it's a big long stick of fries. Oh, huh? Like potato chips. I want my churros. I will fluctuate between a Bailey's hot chocolate, a mulled wine, and a spice cider. All right. So I'm going to be fluctuating with my drinks. They're probably about seven fifty a pop. Right. So I think what I might do as well, the start of We're next week. We're going to have a two again, like I do one then. <laughs> I'll probably say a lot more. I'll probably say, so next week's vlog will start with us on a Saturday. It will probably start with me being slightly hungover from my Christmas do, and then we'll go Winter Wonderland. And I think what we can do after is maybe top up how much it costs once you're there. Well, you so can, that if anyone to wants it. to go, we yeah. can say, so right, say a glass of mulled wine, 6 50 well, a Bailey's hot You can do that on your phone, can't you? Yeah. Fiver for that, yeah. six quid for that. But da, remember, da, da, da. we're doing it each. Yeah. Well, I doubt everything that I have, you will probably get. Oh, probably. I mean, so, so like, you're doing the thing for you. Drinks will probably have separate, yeah. but like, I won't eat a big thing of 10 churros. So no. we'll share bits oh, and stuff like that. And pigs in blankets and, oh. I still am trying to get my hands on the big foot long sausage pig in blanket from MS. Our store still doesn't have any. I'm gutted. Absolutely maybe, gutted. Maybe too early again, not the, the log. No, because people have, I've seen it on people's oh. stores. Mm. I think I need to move up north because up north they seem to have everything early. <laughs> Down here we have nothing. So yeah. And maybe a few rides. Might try and get this one on a few rides. I've done the health skelter viewers, but I think I get stuck in the little bag. I'm thinking like the slingshot one. No, no, because that's where they ping you in that seat and ping it up. Okay, so what about Shenzel the one? went up and told Red and fell out. No, no. <laughs> so what about the one where I'm you just short. sit around and then it takes you up very slowly? Yeah. And then it drops you up, drops you up, and then gets to the top, and then you go wee all the way down. Well, it all depends if it's not too high. It's the height of the London Eye. No. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I might go on some of these rides and then you will see Mama G cam and I'll try and give her the phone to like record me as I'm going up and down. I've got to go to that charge yet, Shannon. Oh yeah, we've got to book that for next year. 70 floors up, you Just know. Just look down. No, but you said I've got to go on the viewing point to have that Prosecco, is not it? Yeah, I'll get a picture of you out on the thing. Whether you're laughing or crying, I mean, no, we'll no. get a picture. Oh, God. But I think I might be all right on the land and I because it's slowly, isn't it? Slowly, well, that's slowly, like the wheel at Hyde Park. Yeah, that's right. It's not as big as the land and I, so that's like your little tester. No, well, I went on the wheel last time. Yeah, but you did Is really... that the same one? It's the same one that oh, was right, yeah. before. I'll be all right there. But the land and I is a lot bigger, remember? But and the carriages are a lot bigger. So we go in the one at Win One Lakes for two people. Yeah. That's for like, I don't know how many. You possibly have to pay through the Coca Cola website for the London Eye, isn't it? Yeah, Coca Cola, like Merlin, something like that. Because it used to be about £15 a ticket, didn't it? No. I really want to do the um, thing in Brighton, like the Virgin viewing point. Similar to London Eye, I think, but it's a big viewing point over the pier. Oh, what? You, you just go to the pier and there's all sea under you? Yeah, but it's like up and it's like a big disc or something. Oh. That looks quite fun. And then I definitely want to do like Madame Tussauds, The Dungeon, Shrek World. See, I want to do stuff like that next year in London, like yeah, touristy stuff. Yeah. I want to go to the Natural History Museum, the British History Museum. What's the museum we went to see in the potato? British History Museum. Oh, well, but I want to go to the Natural History Museum, the one with the big dinosaur, like Night of oh, the Museum well, vibes. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going back to Churchill's rooms. That's the First World War Museum. That's what I always remember that on a school trip. I really like that one. When in like Anderson shelters and everything. A bit like Elsfish. Well, kind of. Yeah. So yeah, we've got the thing in January, the Japanese art exhibition we're going to with lights. Yaki, oh, yeah. I no, can't remember the name. They've made the pictures out of lights, haven't they? Where's that? Sloan Square? I think it could be Tate Modern. I don't know. Oh, oh, right. Oh. So we've got our art thing for next year. And then if mum does like that, I can take her to the Tate Modern because I'm sure that's near Shrek's Adventure and all of like Embankment area. Yeah, because you know we went up when I nearly lost my purse on the boat. Oh, see, that, that was that the gallery. River. Tate Modern, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but there was Shrek next door to that. It's all along the same vibe. Oh, right. So where we got on a Tower Bridge, you've got to walk it's over like a little opposite, bridge. Yeah. And then you're on the other side. Oh, oh the right. little bridge, you walk over Tower Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. To the and other we're there, side yeah. of the Embankment. 
and we can maybe do a trip on the the river where we can mm. sit down and have a drink or a sandwich or something and go up and come back. I really want to get mum on the dinghies as well. No. Look at that straight refusal. No, no, because I've seen that on the TV. They go out so long and strap you in. I ain't having that. <laughs> I'd love to do that. I'd have to have about three life jackets and they'd have to strap me in with like a bodysuit thing. <laughs> you wouldn't want to like be tipped over. Oh, no. <laughs> Because it's just like, a, you know the immigrants when they come in, it's that dinghy and it just, yeah. But the man at the front steering, isn't it? He goes, make a fast down the river. Yeah. No, no, no. I think it's like riptide or something they call it. Oh, right. Well, one of my friends I went to school with, he used to be a um, sales rep for it. Because he always said, if you want to go on it, I'll get you free tickets. I can get it free. It won't cost us anything. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm going to finish my wine. I need to go and try on these gym bits now. And then we'll probably see you. Well, done. Probably see you when I'm finishing off my dinner bits. Adios. Adios. All right. It's now six o'clock. I've only just finished editing part two, so I have a feeling that it might be delayed. I am. Um, oh, you haven't even seen us. Can you put me up there? I can put you there. Now is the tedious task of changing over all the tea lights, which I blooming hate. To do and my middle nail whoo, I have glued that to oblivion so now the only nails I can use are my pinky my ring and my thumb because I am so so worried about it breaking so I thought you know what because I spoke to mum and mum said I tell you what Sham we don't, we're not going to do gonk on the walk every day. We're going to kind of let it build up and then unleash him. So I was like, okay, so tomorrow we're going to do three gonk on the walks. We are going to get up to date with our advent calendars tonight. And I'm just topping up all of my tea lights. These are the ones from advent calendar that Caroline sent us. They're like gingerbread. I think it's like mulled wine, cranberries, I want to say. So mm, yum, yum, yum. You know me, I like to have them the same. And I think I've got two of each. So that is fabulous for my little um, OCD vibes. Oh my God, I have. That's worked out perfectly. And also my candles. Let's bring you back down here. My candy cane one ain't too bad. I need to get rid of all my hair bubbles. They've kind of accumulated again. Take off my earrings, take off my peel. Well, that just flopped, didn't it? Literally. Um, pop that on there. I'll put that there with my Kindle. My apple and cinnamon, I don't know if I've got much left burning in this. I think I'm going to put the gingerbread one that I've got up there in the hall because that one's coming to an end. Or actually, I might just bring that down here. Because I've got a couple of my new ones that I want to get out. So I think apple cinnamon cider mixed with a bit of candy cane. And can I fit citrus gingerbread on here? What do we reckon? Try not to singe your elbow, Shan. I don't know why, my lovelies. This year, my um, Yankees ain't burning right. You know when you get all the wax? You see that? It's kind of like... Not burning down as it used to. So I don't quite know what's up in there. Oh, that's perfect. So I can use them three up. And then the two, next two that I'm thinking of getting out. My cinnamon spice latte. And my gonk one. Oh, I don't quite know where I want to put this guy. I feel like I want to put him up on the top. So that I can see him. Oh, oh my god, does he spin around? Don't tell me the gonk unscrews. You don't even have to keep him on a lid. Guys, the gonk unscrews. Oh my god, game changer. Obviously I will keep him on the lid, but... Oh, so you could legit just have that as a little gonk ornament. Oh my god, right. I feel like you're going to go on the top. And then I know mum said that the one in the bathroom is pretty much running out. So, 
I feel like we have, might have a little bit of a change around with the candles. I was going to say cushions, not cushions. Oh, that's not mould anymore. That's cold. Mould? More like cold. But hey, it still tastes nice. Um, That is exporting. I've actually had to start transferring some bits over from the laptop to the baby hard drive because if you know anything roughly like with storage and memory that an average week's vlogmas takes up 60 gig you're probably thinking blooming hell sham because if you know there's quite a lot however next year i think i need to invest in another big hard drive and then i think what i want to do is just have my big hard drives for videos and footage and then maybe keep my baby hard drive for my photos and memories and everything like that so yeah we shall see that'll be something i shall have to purchase in the new year but for now, I'm going to light all my tea lights, get this room warm, I'm going to jump in the bath, and then when we come back, I need to cook a little bit of dinner, which you won't see much of, because I've got to film it for an evening routine. But we shall see, eh? We shall see. I think I'm doing quite good on track for my 24 hour. I mean, as of now, I've probably got... 12 say another 14 hours <laughs> we shall see how i am at the end of the day <laughs> dinner lovely we've watched the first episode of harry and megan we're just starting the second one mum says she's gonna uh, stay up with you all night or with me i'll try i'll try <laughs> she says she'll be like rocking in at three o'clock in the morning be like do you want a cup of tea tea and toast tea and toast i've got to go until 20 to 8 in the morning 7 38 exactly well is that the song you that was the time up? i woke up this morning so if i come in here and i no no i won't be i, I actually feel quite good I actually feel like I'm going to be on track. Well, we've got no coffee, but we've got some coffee sachets. We have got no coffee. We've got two coffee machines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but we've had the thing, and Mum just said to me, I'm still hungry. I said, yeah, so am I. Let's order something. No, we won't order something. Oh, we'll be good. Right. We've got to get the casserole steak out. Yes, I was just going to say that, yeah. Well, actually, what we can do, let's go and get the steak out, and we'll have All a look right. for a snack before we get into uh, episode two. All right. If you can take my bowl as well, please. The uh, oh god, just banged in into cup. the thing. Yeah, because I'm not going to wash up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it all right through an eight. The mulled wine oh, went down a treat. You want more? No. <laughs> Even Mum's getting in the festivities with the uh, mulled wine at the moment. Yes, yes. Let's have a look. Got everything burning. Did you even notice that I changed the candle in the hall? Yes, yes. Cinnamon spice DW home. Oh, just smell that lovely, lovely. And yet, when I cooked the dinner, 
I put yeah, half I of the thought, Mexican yeah. spice in and mum went, that smells spicy. Meh, 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 meh. I put half of it in. And then she says, oh, actually, that's quite nice. So I'm like, I didn't put it all in, but I could have put it all in. Yes. What can we have? Are you going to add these pizzas? Oh no, don't tell him. But one of them's like a triple chili one. Oh yeah. So I don't think we're going to be able to have that. No, you might know that. Why don't you? What, triple chili? You like chilies, didn't you? Yeah, but not a triple chili, mate. Oh, huh? Now we've just seen all. Oh, right, where is the casseroles? Where you get them? Casserole steak out because we're not having. Oh, you've gone really blurry. You focused on mum's face there. Um, oh. We're not going to have a roast dinner tomorrow. I'm actually going to do a pie, I think, because I'm going to do my winter warmer. So I was like, we've had a couple of roast dinners. We can have a nice pie. So I'm actually going to make some pastry in there. Oh, there's some tequila. Yeah, I'll do a big pie and that'll okay. do this again. A couple of days. Oh. Have, you, have you paused that? Yeah, I'll pause it. Don't oh. forget we've got uh, Aunt Bessie's apple crumble in here. We can have a custard one night. Oh, yes, okay. I might wash it. I'll just whack it on. Oh, so you pause that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just trying to find. So we've got some fish fingers and battered bits of fish in there. We've got. Oh, we can't use that stuff. I've got completely for such a jelly fish. I'll put in what you want. How much were these bits from Lidl? Oh, not long. Two pounds something, I think. Right, we're going to have, because I can always pick some bits up when I go out after work. I'm thinking... Definitely, I don't even want to know how much I'm putting on these next few weeks in this. We are going to have some duck spring rolls. Yes, please. Some chicken gyozas. Mum said these are a couple of quid from Lidl. Well, if we use them, just tell me what you do. So I'm going to go and get some more. And some prawn lollipops. So, uh, yeah, what's the time? 20 past nine. We're going well strong. And we're now putting more food in. So we're just about to watch the second episode of Harry and Meghan. Mum's got a, what on earth have you got? Uh, the baguette I used from yesterday. A cheese, cheese baguette. Is. Cheese baguette at 10 o'clock you're having cheese. Yeah, because we're having a long night. Let's see how long I'm last. Let's see how long I'm last. So I thought I would give these a go. We've got Korean prawn lollipops and lightly salted ones. I think... They're the lightly sorted. Are you having one of each of these or you're just Are you have well? yours at the minute? So I like these. These you pretty much get every Christmas. So I think this would be the lightly sorted. Oh, it's hot. I've just got out of the oven now. And what were these? A couple of quid? Uh, yeah, little. That's slightly salted. This is a cream one. The cream one's slightly darker in colour. That's nice. Yeah. With the little things, I weren't sure whether they was chicken and veg mixed or what. So these are chicken and veg grazers, but these are the ones that are oven baked as opposed to the Tesco ones or the steamed ones. Mm. Decent amount of filling. How are they? Should have had some soy sauce. Without looking at that, I'm going in a trance. <laughs> mm. Don't forget, tomorrow we've got to do three naughty gonks, haven't we? I think I'm going to do two. Mum can do one because I want to be really naughty with the gongs. Well, well, I know my one's still in there sniffing the uh, <laughs> air freshener. He's got his nose. 
and we've got to see about the uh, advent tonight or tomorrow, innit? Yeah. Keep up on track. Probably get up on track with the advent tonight. So now it is 10 o'clock. We're going to sit and chill and get in with episode two. I have a feeling that tomorrow's vlogmas may be slightly delayed because it's only on 50%. Hey ho! Put a turkey to roast, stuffed with nutmeg, apple and butter. One more episode left. I've got my um throw on because I was getting chilly chilly. One more episode left. And then it's midnight. I'm starting to lag a little bit, I really am, but let's see how long we're right, so it's now ten to midnight. I was starting to get a bit laggy, but I've still got things I need to do. How would you sum up your three episodes of Harry and Meghan? Not very good. <laughs> She's not amused. Not amused at all. Wait, when's the other three come out? Tomorrow? Thursday. Oh, we'll watch them next one. Oh, no. We'll watch them be... after Winter Wonderland on Saturday. Oh, I'll see how I feel, Shannon. So, I am now going to just download all the footage onto my iPad because I need to do some thumbnails. Are you going to keep? Uh, I don't know. I'll get in there with the... Uh... What's the little things on my sheet? The gonks. gonks. I had a bit of a thing with you this last night because I don't make my bed. I've got the covers. I woke up and I just went, oh, the gonks was all staring at me on the sheet. So you'll see all the gonks there. Tomorrow we'll catch up with the gonks and advent calendars because okay. for now I just want to get cosy, get my Kindle, get everything so I don't have to move. See you in a bit. We've got the steak out, viewers. Yep. This one's going to keep. See you in a minute. I'm so on. it is. Oh, just go with that. I've just transferred all the data from my memory card over to my iPad so I can do my thumbnails. Um, England are out of the World Cup. It's not coming home, is it? It's not coming home. Um, I do think there's going to be a delay on the uploads tomorrow. Well, today because it's Sunday. It's only on sixty percent. Oh, and it's been uploading since three p.m. Nine hours to get sixty percent. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much tonight. Like. I'm thinking of putting my clothes away. Oh my god, that's just effort. My battery's flashing, so I need to change the battery. I think I might do some skincare. I don't know. I definitely need to do my thumbnail, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Might read some more on my Kindle. I've got over an hour left on that, and I. I'm going to change the battery. And I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Right, so it is 25 to 2. I am starting to lag though, I'm not going to lie. I've not done my thumbnails. I have Canon. Sorry about the lighting. I've snippeted all photos from the videos. And now I'm going to read my Kindle. So I'll see you hopefully when the uh, background's better and canon focuses So, I'm literally two and a half hours off. Okay. <sighs> I've finished my book. I've done my thumbnail. 
The temperature has dropped. Cannon. Cannon! The temperature has dropped. I'm going to put a dressing gown on and hit the sack. Only for about three and a half hours because I need to check if the video is going to be ready to go live. I don't think it is. Oopsie. And then we've got a day of filming tomorrow. I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be quite a nappy day, but yeah. <sighs> Two and a half hours off, so I stayed up for 21 and a half hours. I'm happy for that for my first all night up in like god knows how long. So yeah, I'll hit the sack and I shall see you in probably about three and a half hours when I'm fannying around trying to see if the video is going live. Good morning. I'm actually not feeling too bad. It is nine o'clock. The first vlog has actually exported in time. I don't know, I'm happy about that. Um, feeling very refreshed, it is very cold. I've just looked outside and the frost on the car. Wow. So yeah, mum's still asleep. She KO'd. <sighs> so, I am just gonna upload the thumbnail, quickly do my description and that, and then upload all the footage from last night and probably start editing another video. And then I shall check in with you probably when mum's awake. But yeah, it's cold. Cold, cold, cold. But I don't feel too bad now. Watch, this will be the point where I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to crash. <laughs> Alright. Mum's now awake. I can hear her. I don't know where she is. Have you seen all the frost on the cars? Yeah. Oh, you see it? So we'll do the grand reveal of her bed, but this is just her sleeping in it. We haven't made it yet with her throwing really cushions. when I'm in the night. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's the cold weather, Shannon. Hang on. Oh, great. Oh, it's frost. Frosty, frosty, frosty. I need to go down to Tesco, or we need to go and get some bits for Ding Dings oh, tonight. Oh. Mum, we've not mixed your powder in properly. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> She's got a coffee sachet and there's all the granules on the top. You need to mix it, mix it, mix it. Clearly, she's just... I know, it was freezing. I stayed up till five, eight past five and I couldn't crash the last two and a half hours. I was like, I need to go. You, you stayed till gone up five o'clock this morning? What was you doing? I was doing reading my book, doing my thumbnails, a bit of editing. Oh. I weren't going to touch my um, clothes. I was going to put them away and I thought, no, I can't bother. Because it was oh. cold. It got to like half three and I got out of bed for a wee and I was like... Oh. You should have put that... Oh. Start getting that if it's still going to be like this in the week. Because the electric, you get that van later on. <laughs> it's yeah. a pound already, but it gives a sh... I mean, well, so me, I haven't had the laptop off since Friday. Oh, that's all right. The tree's been on since eight o'clock this morning. Well, I think yesterday, because we had the, it's more the oven, isn't it? Three pound in one day. We left the oven on today for ding -dings. Yeah. I think at the minute, four weeks gas, somewhere it's just clocked a hundred pound. No shame, but that's, that's 25 pound a week. We're having the heating on from five to eight or nine at night. Yeah, but not every night. Cause yeah, every night, <laughs> yeah. That's 60p an hour, so that's 240. Two or three times a week, I'm having a bath. I have a bath every night. You have a bath Two every night. Weekends. Yeah, and you wash your bonnet. That's what takes more. <gasps> we'll wash up with hot water two or three times or whatever. So I don't... £25 a week, I don't think it's too bad. When you think an hour's heat is 60 pence on the meter. We're not going to freeze. I know we don't get no freezing help. No, I know, but I know we don't get help with the gas. But we're not going to freeze. I think I'm actually going to do a hot drink. <laughs> yeah, go on then. See you later, dear. You'll see mum in a bit. Yeah. I've also got to. Um, there's been a parcel sent for mum. I'm going to unbox it. Oh God, please don't fall. You're balancing on the scales. 
it says for mama g but i think what i'm gonna do is if she goes to tesco i'm gonna open it up and set it up because someone's actually sent her a fiber optic christmas tree and i know she's gonna absolutely have a meltdown we have food delivery at between 12 and 1 and i've really gutted they've emailed me and said they didn't have any of the black pudding sausage rolls gutted i can't did i tell you my lovelies this week he's um m s we're gonna do for the party food but yeah they didn't have any of the black pudding sausage rolls i was like oh that is like the best right what are we gonna have i feel really hungry as well but we ate all the party food last night <sighs> So I've got nothing. Didn't get any bacon out last night, did I? No. Oh, we've got bread. Can I do some cheese on toast, maybe? Oh, I might do some cheese on toast, you know. Oh, and it's grated cheese, so I haven't even got to cut it. Oh. <gasps> Oh, do I do cheese on toast? Do I not? Oh, I've got to do a try on haul as well today. I've got to do sheen. So really, I shouldn't eat or drink beforehand. <sighs> Guys, I'm so bloated. <laughs> Look at my little belly. <laughs> I've had way too much food. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to have hot drink or anything yet. What I am going to do is finish editing, quickly jump in a morning bath just to freshen up, Put some slap on, and then once the slap's on, I can film my she in, and then after that, I've got no more charm clips, then I can have some food. And hopefully, the um, Ocado will be here by then, because we've got it all through a corridor. Let's have a look. And also, I just, um, let me put the light on for a minute. I just saw there was a comment on last week's Vlogmas, and someone said, you, you need to move, your house is too cluttered. Well, I would love to move to like a four or five bedroom house, but unfortunately, the cost of living crisis, my wages don't cut that. So, yes, it may appear cluttered. Um, my room especially, because I just haven't even touched the clothes. We make do with what we've got. And unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do about it. Unless I build an extension on the back, which we can't do. I can't do that so yeah uh, i thought i'd address that little issue if people watch and think oh my god it's so cluttered it's a small home that has well and truly outgrown the needs of a woman in her 60s and a woman in her late 20s who has a lot of stuff so yes i'm going to quickly finish editing jump in the bath and i'll see you hopefully when i've got a little bit of slap on it oh, on because my god it is cold um i'm doing this part on my own mum's actually just popped out to tesco just to quickly go and get a few little bits for dinner because you would have already seen the video it was a winter warmer i'm doing a steak and guinness pie a lot of you said to me before shan do a pie um i kind of cheated i didn't make my own pastry i'm not gonna lie but we're having a nice steak and guinness pie with some veg and mashed potatoes so she said i'll quickly run out and do that so this has just come from ocado they forgot my mulled wine gutted but mum said she's actually popping out one day next week so she said i'll pick up the bottle of mulled wine and we will have it on the thursday you might have thought from that overview shane you haven't got much that's because, my lovelies, I'm not here Friday night because it's the works due. So this is for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So for four days. And I'm not going to lie, it is pricey. M&S is expensive. But me and Mama G will be the taste testers to see is it worth it. Now they have, from what I gather two different sections they have their normal m&s food for party range and then they have m&s food collection which is th not three for two four for three however some of the prices of the things i'm thinking you've got to be 
Plumbing goods, you know that. So let's get the thing because I got all my prices. It was an online receipt. Let's start off with top of the thing. 10 mini cottage pies. These were £7.50. Oh, they, they need to be worth it, my lovelies. They need to be worth it. They need to be tasty. They need to be gooey. It says, rich, slow-cooked beef British mince with creamy mashed potato topped with mature cheddar cheese and parsley. And again, all of the food cooks at 180 degrees, so it's like the Asda. You haven't got to worry about changing the temp of the oven and all of that jazz. It all cooks at the same temp. So £7, that's 75p per little pie. We're going to have to see if they are worth it. We are going to have to see if they're worth it. Let's pop that on there, shall we? Now, a lot of the party food from the food collection seems to be around the 750 mark. The next one is 10 mini steak sandwiches. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm very excited for these. Oh, I think these should be very nice. British rump steak on a sourdough crostini with caramelised onion, mustard and crispy onions. I mean, we all know I love a bit of steak. I love cheese, I love onions, so I'm hoping that they will be good for 750 as well. 750, 750 as well. Now it hasn't given me the price of these now because these are the ones that come like the four for three. But this is the normal women's party food, I'm gonna say, and I got battered mini sausages, chip shop style, salt and vinegar battered British pork sausages with curry sauce for a full on chip shop flavor. Now, I wanna say that I think these were about 455 pounds. You get a fair few mini sausages in here, and as you can tell, every week there has been something around like chip shop, whether it be fish and chips, mushy peas, there is something, oh, trust my phone just to turn off, something around that vibe so when i saw that i was like oh so that is the difference i think this whole ms food is the normal one and then when it's got the fancy pantsy collection that's kind of like a tesco finest let's just say and then oh my god i am so so excited for these if these are good i'm getting these for burns night now me and mum love a bit burns night haggis neeps and tatties yes please was you, yes, 10 for £7.50 as well. Traditional Scottish haggis in a whiskey cream sauce with mashed swede and creamed potatoes topped with Scottish oats and herbs. Guys, if these are nice, I'm going down and I'm stocking up on them until February because Burns Night is probably one of like my favourite little holidays in the year as well. Me and mum love getting like a couple of bits of haggis, plenty of mashed potato, peppercorn sauce, the gravy, the sweet. So there will be a Burns vlog next year because any excuse to eat good food, eh? 10. So a lot of the stuff is in 10. So 75p per thing. It's just if the flavour's there. And as I say, me and mum G, we will tell you if the flavour is there. Let me tell you that. They had some really unusual bits as well. So... Let's go on with, I got something from like the Delicatessen bit. These were £2.75, festive cheese board pinwheels. And it says extra mature cheddar cheese and butter enriched puff pastry with extra mature cheddar cheese, red Leicester cheese, blue cheese, full fat soft cheese and fig chutney filling. You can eat them cold or you can warm them up hot in six minutes. So I saw them and then I saw this and correct me if I'm wrong, this was five pounds. Now, if it is as big as the packaging, I don't think that's bad for a fiver. This is a cheesy garlic dough ball Christmas tree. And just feeling it, it feels a good size. I don't think that's too bad for a fiver. So I was thinking that, with that, kind of like as a picky night, maybe with the steak sandwiches and this little beauty. When I saw these as well, guys, I was loving life so da, 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 da. £7.50 again the majority of stuff on here is £7.50 I'm looking at for the uh, collection it don't tell me my dim sum because that was the free one but again I'm gonna say £7.50 pulled ham and rarebit crumpets <laughs> mini crumpets topped with cheddar cheese rarebit and beer glazed ham hock I mean, we all know I love a crumpet, but look, guys, they're mini crumpets. <laughs> when I saw them, I was like, yes, please, cook in seven minutes. I just, I find anything mini, I just love. 
I don't know why I see it because I think, well, if I eat quite a lot of it, it don't matter because they're small. That is the um, logic that goes through my mind. Picked up some prawn bits because, as you say, every week we've tried to have like some different variation of cuisine or prawn dish. It was like tempura, then sweet chili. This I'm very excited for. This is the MS Food Collection 12 Handmade Tiger Prawn Collection. Four prawn baguette toasts, four prawn and coconut bites, very interesting, and four prawn and potato lattice balls. Now these look nice and they're heavy. Like these are heavy. They feel like they are filled with all the prawn goodness and I am here for it. I am absolutely here for it. Don't quite know which one's which though. Oh, okay. One of them begets slices. So they must be the slices. Balls and then the potato pastry. Oh, it's kind of like... um. What did we have something earlier on? Was it last week or the week before? Oh, the... um. And it had like a potato crunchy. Was it something like a mini fish pie bite or something like that? And it had like a crunchy potato thing. That's what this sound like. Oh, I'm excited for them. Dada would absolutely love something like that because he loves his prawns. And then I did stick with like an oriental theme. Of course, we've had gyozas and dim sum and everything like that from the past couple of weeks. So it's only fair to test out MS, all right? So we've got a 12 steam dim sum selection, four oriental vegetable wheat pastry pyramids, okay? Four prawn and monge two wheat pastry parcels and four mushroom dumplings with a sticky rice pastry. They're what I'm excited for. They are what I'm excited for. And guys, we all know mummy's going to love these because they're all fancy colour. Okay, they are fancy colour. She's going to love that. She is going to be in her element. And of course, she's going to be in her element because these were the main thing that she was saying. If you do it, make sure you get them. Don't do the order. If you cannot get these, Shan, do not do the order. I've got the order. Eight. So these are still 750, but you only get eight. However, they are large. Steamed Bowie buns filled with vegetables in a boiling sauce. And they've got reindeer faces on them. Look at them. She is going to freak. She's going to be a very happy woman when she realizes that we actually have the stock of them. Now, I am getting really peckish now. And I really, oh no, I forgot to tell mum to get some salsa. I wanted to have some of my dips and chips. Right. Does anyone else's parents, when they wash up, they just put everything in one corner and I'm like, mum, you know that stuff don't go here. I want to stream myself a hot drink. No, I shall wait. I'm going to put these away, actually jump in the bath. And then when I come out, I can put some slap on and do my sheen haul. I need to also film with mum. We're going to try and do the uh, gingerbread houses. This is, I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to see. We are going to try the gingerbread houses later on. So you will see the finished product, but you would have already seen the video beforehand. And she said to me, she has, she's got loads of other sweets here. Giant Skittles, Malwounds. We're just going to have to see if um, it can take it all. But yeah, I'm going to jump in the bath, pop these in the fridge, have a little snack. I need to have a snack because I'm getting hungry. I might just have some of my Dorito crisps. Yeah, I think I'm going to have that. See you in a bit. Right, I've just made mum's bed for her. We've got a cushion, the duvet, her little throw with all the gonk men and women. Please excuse, that's the washing in the corner. Let's just ignore that. But this or something that was very, very kindly sent by one of you lovelies. I went to our old family friend and had this picked up and she was like Shan there's a parcel there but it says Mama G I was like yeah yeah I was like I hear it I was like I've spoken to the lady I just in case the lady doesn't want her name to be said this was sent by one of my lovelies we'll go by Livy and she said she'd seen something from Mum and she was like oh my god I just know your mum will love it and my lovelies it's a fibre optic tree now if we all know mum Mum has been gutted that Dada broke the whole tree. He came to the house first time in five years and he broke the tree last year. She was not happy, was she? So, what I am thinking is, while she's at Tesco, I still haven't even had my bath. 
Still not even had my bath. I just come in and made her bed for her because she's not really one to make her bed, Mum. She's a little bit of a naughty teenager in those aspects. So I thought, well, I'll make the bed and then I've just cleared a little bit of space in the corner and I'm going to set it up for her. So when she comes in, she can have a little surprise. Is this going to go terribly wrong now? Am I going to mess up the whole bed? Probably. But yeah, this is ever, ever so kind of you, my lovely. Like, honestly, even the fact that people send me stuff it's like i get so i don't know it's like overwhelming because i'm like it's just me it's just me that you watch and oh my god this looks insane oh guys it comes with its own little stand oh my god she's gonna freak she's actually going to freak right let's do a little diy setup of this and then we can see the finished product eh she's going to freak when she sees this and the thing is this will now give her an excuse to um go and buy more decorations because as you know she might not want any decorations on it with her lights she quite likes it the way it is when she used to have the other little five optic right hold on let's put this down because we all know I'm gonna make a pig's ear of it, ain't I? Mum's best at fluffing. I can't set it up and not fluff it for her. I'll be like, Mum, that's your job. Oh my God, this is so cute. Livy, thank you so, so much. She is going to freak when she sees this. Oh, right, now let's see. Oh, this means we can get another tree topper. Right, I don't, Mum just normally like pushes her hands down. I mean, no doubt she will come in and be like, shat, no, 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 no. This is how you fluff a tree. I'll be like, okay, Mum, I'm not a professional tree fluffer like you. I just kind of like go by layers and then just push and spread. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, and this is such a full tree. <gasps> I wonder if I've got. Oh my god, should I put the gonk on it? Should I put the gonk on the top? <gasps> that could be the naughty gonk, right? You know, we're just trying to find the layers. Is that a layer? <gasps> oh my god. I think I'll be able to do a bit more once. I turn it on, you know, like when you see the lights and that. Oh my god, it has got a tall bit for a top. That is fabulous. Now I feel like I can't get in the bath until she gets home. <laughs> I still haven't even done any filming. I don't know if I'm going to do my um, she in haul today, my lovelies. I think that might be a um, another day job. We are going to be doing our gingerbread. <gasps> I don't know. You know when you look at it and I think, have I done that well? Have I done that well? I don't know. Let me tighten it up a bit because I don't want her to move it and then the tree falls out of it. Look at that, I've done it. I haven't even pulled the other side out. Oopsie. This is why we need Mama G's assistance here. <gasps> Should we plug it in and see what it's like? Right, what way is it going to go? Guys, oh my god, it even jangles. Wow. Right, let's bring you over here. <gasps> oh my god. So I definitely need to fluff it out, that's for sure. I will leave the fluffing completely to mum because she is the fluffing queen. <gasps> oh my god. I put it in there. Oh my god, it fits perfectly as well. <gasps> right, where's a gonk? I need a gonk. 
whole house of gonks and there is no gonk in here. I need something for her top. I need something for the, or shall I just leave it? <gasps> right, I'm just gonna put a gonk next to it, I think. Right, as I say, I'm not the best at fluffing, but oh my God, right, let's turn the light off. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my God, thank you. So, she's actually gonna freak me if she sees this. She is gonna be like, right, I'm going out, I'm getting all new ball balls, I'm getting everything that I want. I'm gonna be like, okay, you go do you. Oh my God, that is absolutely adorable. Thank you so, so much, Libby. <gasps> I can't wait for her to come home now. <gasps> Right, let's tidy the bed and I'm not going in the bath yet. Who am I kidding? Actually, no. If she comes in, I'll just be like, do not go in your room. Do not go in your room. The naughty gonk on the wonk has been about. Right, so mummy's back and I kept her confined to the kitchen. You can go in your bedroom now. Oh, okay. So, you know I said that there was a parcel that come for you? Yeah. Well, it's been put together. Oh, right. So, let me... First off, I've made your bed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Leave the light off. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then look in. Oh! Disco, disco, disco! Disco, disco, disco! Oh! So how do I get to turn the TV on and off? I'll sort all of oh, it out. Oh! You might have to defluff it, because I'm not the best at defluffing things. No, no, things. that's alright! Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? Where did you buy that from? It wasn't. A lady sent it to you. Oh, you have to find that for me, please? <laughs> we'll go by her name's Livy. We'll go by that. Right, then. Oh, oh, my God, it's so nice, isn't it? You've pulled it out quite a lot, Shane. There's only a little couple of branches, because, you know, I get paranoid, don't I? Yeah, I know. She's a bit of a fluffer. Oh. All right, so that's here with the bulbs. <laughs> oh, well, because I'll, 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 tomorrow I'm eating. I can tidy my bedroom and put all your underwear on your bed and that because it's all done there, isn't it? So I thought now you oh. can either leave it plain or you can buy decorations. No, no, I like it like that. <laughs> oh my God, that's so nice. What's her name? Liv. Livy will go by. Yeah. Thank you, Livy. <laughs> it's because you've been saying about the whole tree, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she says she and saw how something. What was that one? That's a four foot one. Right, so how much was as that dad broke? The one in the halls of five foot or six foot. Oh, oh well, there's not much difference in it, is That's there? really big for four foot. I yeah. didn't, when I got it out of the box, I didn't realise it was going to be that big. Well, I'm only four foot two. So, yeah, it's about five foot four two foot. Viewers. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, thank you, Livy. Thank you. <laughs> so she's happy now. She's yeah. got her own little tree. And it actually fits quite nice in that corner. Yeah, yeah. So now you can either decide next year we'll definitely have to get some decorations if you want bits. No, no. Or I'll... when we put our bits away this year, you can put a little box together for what you want on your little tree. Oh, I don't know. I, I quite like that because it's full foot. That looks nice like that, doesn't it? And it's really flashing. I think it's that very one, jazzy. <laughs> that one didn't flash, did it? Our one it was like sort of in a mitten. But that's, it goes on like different settings and that. Oh, I, I don't worry, Livy, because we're getting sixty-six pound a month off the uh, electric <laughs> board, so I'm going to have it on all night and all day, Livy. Disco, disco, disco. You don't even think I put your fro yes, out on I'm the just, bed? Pull, pull that down a little bit for me, thank you. It's just when you make it, it doesn't cushions. seem to reach the top of the cupboard, does it? I think it's because okay. you don't have it properly down there. Right. Don't show the washing. <laughs> They've already seen the washing. No, no, that's right. That'll be done this week. So you can now watch telly with. Yeah. Your little tree. <laughs> well, I'll go in the shade and I'll get one of them adapters, yeah? If you want. Because with the with the switch, I can put the adapter on, put the TV in and put the thing on. So when the uh, TV comes on, the tree comes on as well. Okay, then that'll be mum's task. Yeah. She actually got a new bed. Well, not new bed, but we've done the bed. I've yeah. actually put the throw and all the cushions there. Mum don't really lay the cushions... You don't really make your bed often, do you? Oh, I don't really have a quilt on often, do I? <laughs> so this is like nice. My and once it's made... Quilt for Christmas, I said, no, 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 no. I said, at least once it's made, you won't want to feel the urge to get back in it because it's made. She'll probably still lay on top, though, with the throw. Yeah, but I lay on the top and read the paper, <laughs> don't I, and everything. 
but it's when I'm waiting at night, I'll pull that up and it's them gonks looking. <laughs> you love that. And I think once the um, it gets dark, dark, that lets you be a nice little nightlight for you. Yeah, well, I only have the TV on, don't I? Yeah. So. Well done, yeah. <laughs> well done and dusted. And the little gonks under there. Yeah, yeah. We've got to do three of them today because they're naughty. We'll do three naughty gonks. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So how do you switch it off? I'll just turn the switch off at the back. I'll just pull it out slightly. Oh, right then. Okay. This is the aftermath of the gingerbread house. It's um, It didn't quite go to plan, my lovelies. It didn't quite go to plan indeed. But I hope it um, makes for entertaining viewing. How would you uh, rate the gingerbread houses? Uh, mine, 10 out of 10 viewers. Of course, you give it 10 out of 10. Because it's still standing. If you haven't seen the video, oh, you've got a gingerbread crumb in you. If you haven't seen the video, sneak peek, go and see it because mum gets so carried away talking that she actually starts to eat the gingerbread before she constructs the house. But it's still standing. <laughs> so, yes, that is done. The second video is exporting Vlogmas 2 is all done. So I just need to do the thumbnail for that. My pore cushions are just obliterated. I've already got a glass of Baileys. Can you see over there in my little Santa cup? That's not a cup, it's a vase. But I'm getting slightly peckish. However, I don't want to eat too much because we're doing the pie tonight. A lovely steak and Guinness pie, which we've got a huge slab of casserole steak there. What, um, I'm wondering what dish to do it in. Maybe one of them round tin ones. What, one of those ones? Or I was thinking maybe like the crumble one. Yeah, but you think you're gonna, you've got a lot of meat in there, Shen. Maybe the big thing, the big round one. We'll have to have a think because I don't know which, uh, <laughs> which dish to do the pie in. We've got a lot of filling. How long will the pie take? I think about an hour and then how long does the pastry Oh, we're going to have that tonight? Yeah. All right. So when I come back from my friends? Yeah. All right, then I've got... Ready. How long does this take? That only takes 10 to 15 minutes, so that's not too bad. However, I am hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm very snacky. Schneck, 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 schneck. What do I want? I feel like I want to try the festive wheels from M&S. And I realised we didn't um, do the pate, did we? We didn't do the blooming pate on last week, the Asda one. So I think I'm going to keep the pate for 24 hours Christmas food. But I do believe... I'm going to open the pinwheels because I'm hungry. Probably would be nicer heated up, but let's just go with it, shall we? Oh, they're quite big. Nice, right. I was just double checking that you could actually eat them cold because I thought, oh my god, I'm eating raw pastry. So, that's not too bad. Mm. Right. We need to tidy all of this up. Now I need to get editing. Now check in with you in a bit. finished editing the gingerbread video oh my god if you see the clip where we're talking and then I'm like mum you've eaten the lid I've just been crying for like the past half an hour just keep re-watching the same 30 seconds 
to the point that I've videoed it off my phone and sent it to all my friends. <laughs> was like, happy Sunday, have a laugh. But, mm, it is so cosy in here, I don't want to move. But I need to, because I need to have a bath, then I need to start dindins. And then me and mum are going to watch another film. I don't know which one we're going to watch yet. Whether it's The Holiday or Notting Hill, I think it is. I think those were the two from Caroline. I'll have to have a look. Hmm. But I'm another bubble. Another bubble. <laughs> another bottle of Baileys has gone, guys. Let's remember this when I'm in the new year. And I'm like, oh my God, why did I drink that much Baileys? It's Christmas, enjoy yourself. So I'm going to run a bath now. Shall we have a bath time together? Yes, I think we shall. We shall have a bath time together. We're fancying a bath bomb, aren't we? My hair's loose. We're going to have to whack this around. I might have to clip it up like a princess layer. Let's go and have a scrub-a-dub-dub -dub together, eh? <laughs> distracted by the snow <laughs> well mum did there's people out there you wouldn't think it's 10 to 10 at night and it literally looks like it's like seven o'clock in the morning doesn't it yeah but then two people it's so light people having snowball fights out there and everything it don't seem so cold does i oh, know i feel like i want to get in work early tomorrow just to go in and have snowball fights with everyone <laughs> yeah but you've got to watch it don't turn to freezing yeah dada said it's gonna go to ice i was like i'll stop being so negative oh, before we do go Mum got very flustered at Love Actually because of the sex and nudity scenes. <laughs> oh, 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 it's, oh, it's very awful, Joyce. Mum got so good. She was like, no, no. I was like, that is how people do sex things, Mum. So, yeah, no, Shannon, it's a long time since I had sex. Right. Seven years ago. Monday. Oh. I'm not normally this cheery on a Monday, but I am up, I am editing, and there is snow outside, guys, <laughs> there is snow, I'm so excited, um, not really excited for clearing the car off, I'm not going to lie, um, but yeah, I need to wake up, Canon, God, no one wants to focus on this, 
wake up, maybe have some toast, and then start the task of de in the car. Let's see how that goes. Toast, 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 toast. Toast, toast, toast. Oh my god. Oh, actually, no, leave the light off. Guys, look, all you see is white. Look at that. You know, like that bit of untouched snow on the table. Oh my god. I feel like me and mum need a snowball fight. I feel like that is tradition. Oh my god, look, she's even got my toast. Well, she's got the bread in the toaster ready for us. You had it ready for me. No, I've had some song with some juice. Oh, I thought that was for me. <laughs> no, this is yours, but I've had mine. <laughs> it's not too crispy, is it? Because I don't have mine. Well, I don't have number three. And half. There's snow, snow, snow. Oh, no. I was contemplating getting my hunters out, but my friend at work now just said don't because they're not safe to drive in. Oh no, they'd be so he says specific. stick with your Doc Martins. Yeah, because they could snow more. And then we're gonna go over the country park at lunch and have snowball fights. Oh, I'm gonna take the gloves in. I know, I'm taking the gloves, full beanie, the whole lot. So I'm gonna Stop. eat my toast. Yes, the pie is there. I don't think we will actually be having well, snacky pie. foods tonight. Use I think we'll have the pie tonight with some bit of mash. Well, the, there's so enough, don't eat the pie. No, there's enough there for you, there's half left. Well, no, we've got enough with a bit of pastry each, and we'll have some teddies or whatever tonight. Well, there's only two or three tapers left there and some peas, maybe. We'll just have that tonight, because, say, there's enough there. We'll still be able to get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days out of that. Mum's having a coffee. So, I'm going to eat my toast, and you shall see me when, hopefully, I look like a giant walking duvet. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without free Ready for work I've done the car <laughs> Mum thinks I look a little excessive But I don't think it's too bad I've just put my bomber back on No, but it's not cold Leggings, bottoms But I am going like full muffs but with a hat There's no wind, fog, frost, <gasps> ice well, I don't know about else, Snowball just be careful. fight! Right, Big off to work. If I do have any snowball fights or we go to any fields, I'll include that after because I say it would just be fine for each now. But yeah, snow day! I've just got back from work and look, all my washing. No, but I said to you I'll put it on there so you can put it on. It can go there. I'm doing washing a different day. And look, oh, what's happened? It oh, broke. Oh, you know? I thought you were going to say something. So oh. I pulled the door handle, and yeah. as I pulled it, I just felt a snap. What, in the car? Yeah. So I'm not going to DIY it tonight. I'm going to DIY it Thursday, so oh, it's okay. fresh for the thing. Oh. Um, work weren't too bad. Went over and had a snowball fight at lunch. I got hit in my eye. Oh, right. Oh, that's like, hard. directly in my eye. I thought that's... When you just went like that, I thought, oh, you'd done something to a nose. No, I got hit in my eye. Oh, right. It was... Uh... <laughs> not happy. I was like, that was mean. And then I've just had HelloFresh. They have confirmed and approved my collaboration. So you would have already seen that in the festive evening routine. So that's going live. We did that Friday or Saturday, Yeah, we? but I had to wait because it oh, was yeah, a last yeah. minute approval thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm just, right. I've not took I'm anything. just making sure Mum's not touched the pie. No, I've done the rest of potatoes. There'd be enough for oh, you. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know if you want some more peas or not. And I've got the kettle for you. Maybe use the peas and cabbage up. Well, there's quite, there's quite a lot of peas still there, isn't there? Well, we won't use a whole bag of peas. We can have a few peas or just use the cabbage up because it's fresh. Oh, right, then. Well, when I, come, when I come back from my friends, I'll put it in the pan then. Oh, did you not put your bailies in the fridge, Mum? Oh, oh sorry. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd like a nice cold No, but I said to you last night, now that the underwear's done and all that, I'll put it in piles. Oh. No, I'll it's going on the floor. No, no, don't chuck it on the floor, Shannon. Put it in poles because I'll put it on, all in poles uh, on your bedroom. I don't know you didn't want it on there. You could have said the same. Well, if it's just underwear, I might be able to put my underwear. I'm not attempting my no, it's yet. No, it's just that all your underwear, all these sets, I've sorted them out. But with the uh, thick socks, there's some there, the feet are a bit ropey. If you think they're gone or, or fold them up, you know, you do them back to front. Yeah. Just push them inside out. And then put them in the bin. And when I go to Primark, I can get you some new bed socks for Christmas. How best you think that'd be a thing? Reheating the oven? All of it, yeah. Because of the pastry. I don't want the pastry to go naff. No, just reheat it. 
it should be alright, yeah. What, we can have all that tonight? What, finish it up? Well, it's one slab of pastry each and all yeah. the filling. That's it's quite a big bowl. That's £11 worth of meat for two meals. Oh no, that's four meals, isn't it? But you can also have another bowl. Oh. £2.75 yeah. portion. Your candle blew out. Oh. I've been sitting here like a stiff all day. <laughs> I've told her to stop having the eating on in the week for the minute. <laughs> so I've just put it on now, 40 pence and 140 for electric, because your candle's blown out, so the bathroom's cold. Oh, I can go and put another one on. I've got plenty of candles. Yeah, all right then. So Shall we um, go and see what candle we're going to have today? But just keep it on for a couple of hours, so when it's... I'll get you from Kiwis, it's warm. Um, I think we should have... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I want this to go down, I can't even grab it. Oh. You are the yeah? There's no one on the roads. I've just realised the camera's really up close. Sorry, my lovelies. And this week, do the vlog of the bubble Peach bath and, and, them, and we can check them out. Well, that'll be for monthly favourites. So that'll be for the end of the month. Oh, we're not, we're not going to miss the number soon. What's that, for the candles and the bubble baths? Yeah, they go in my monthly favourites, oh, don't they? No, but Shane, you don't do them every month. I do. Monthly favourites is every month. Hence the monthly favourite. <laughs> right, you're going to light it. Oh, this one's got two wigs. I oh, know, it's a double wig. Woohoo! That one can go because that one don't need to stay. But, yeah. So I might, I might put my underwear away. I might put my underwear away. You alright? Because right? oh, well, I think I'll probably do a little bit of editing before a bath because oh. I want to, maybe we'll reheat that um, pie slowly. Oh, then put it on about, what, 100? No, we'll reheat it like 1 hour, but we'll put it in for like half hour, 40 minutes so that yeah, it cooks yeah, slowly yeah. and through. Yeah, and uh, we can get the thing and just turn the veg in the meat. Where mum's been very excited while I've been at work today, and we had one out of two parcels turn up. Royal Mal, what is going on? You message me, the light's still on. You message me and say it's coming today, and then it's not. So mum has been doing naughty gonks. There's four. What rooms are they in? Toilet, the wine. He's tried. He's drunk all the wine. Oh, right. <laughs> and I've got two more to suss in a minute. Oh, okay. So mum's uh, very happy sorting out yeah. the gonk and the wonk. I'm going to quickly do my thumb now and pff, attempt to put this away. washing away. Only the underwear. Yeah, well, that's all that's there, Shane. I need the underwear. Great. Great. Right. See you in a bit. Yeah. Right. Adios. So, yes, I have double layers on. Naughty gonk. He's sitting there with the wine. And then what was the other gonk you done, Mum? What room? Uh, the bathroom. He's been sniffing the, the uh, air conditioner. The bathroom? I've just been in the bathroom. No. Oh, the toilet. Let's have a look. Oh, he's been sniffing the uh, air freshener, Mum said. Poor Santi. <laughs> sniffing the air freshener. Guys, it is cold. Oh, my God, look at the state of my hair. This is then what happens when you just put it up in a messy bun. But, yeah, I've got double layers on because, whoo, but it is lovely and warm in here. Get that convector heater because it's electric. She's going to put the convector heater. And the pies in there cooking. I feel like I want a drink. I'm probably just going to have my Baileys. I mean, you put one in the back room. Okay, we'll go and see the naughty gonk in the back room. Let's have a look. I know it's a work night, but hey ho, chocolate Baileys. I mean, would it be a cute thumbnail with my hair like this? Probably not. Should we try it anyway? Let's move the uh, door. Try and get, I mean, we've got a huge box by the Christmas tree, but could we? Might be able to make it work. Well, she, she, she loves doing these naughty bombs. Where's the other one you've done? I've done them. There's uh, one in the back room. Oh, one back in my room. Bedroom. And your bedroom. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Please excuse all the parcels. Right. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness gracious, it's got Mama G's bra this time. <laughs> and what's it? Mum, what's a candy cane doing here? Huh? What's a candy cane doing down here? Somewhere. There was a candy cane just under the throw. Oh, he's, he's, he's probably uh, 
got it then, don't you think? <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably been trying to suck on the candy cane. Oh, my God. <laughs> Naughty man. <laughs> been a long time since you've had a man near your bras, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> And then let's have a look. Mum's one, where is she? Did you see I put your Christmas socks in? Yeah, what's, the, what's on your books in there? <gasps> That was part of my delivery. Oh, she's got a tree on. Right, where's the conk? Am I being... I imagine it's going to like... Oh, <laughs> he's tucked himself into the bed. Where's he done? Oh, no, I thought he was going to be naughty underneath. Oh, he's tucked... oh, that looks so cute, actually. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, uh, as you can see, mums love. They've not really been gone. Con well, they have been on the walks. They've not really been naughty gonks because I think if I'd done them, I think she'd probably pull her hair out. <laughs> oh no, mum, put it back. I would have took a photo. That's a funny one. Oh, your bra. <laughs> oh, they're not. So, well, don't next. Just, uh? Don't just get too much of me bra. <laughs> Next clip you'll probably see is when I'm stuffing my face because I'm actually going to have a chill night tonight. It's the first night that I'm not editing, I'm not filming, apart from like vlogging. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do a little bit of filming and editing, but I just want to have a chill night, okay? I want to have my Baileys and have a chill night. And that's what we're going to have. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, it's half nine and I'm shattered. I've just been watching Mr. Wraith Childs, the one and only canon, focus on my blooming face, will ya? Um, just catching up on his videos and now I'm going to go to bed. I'm very tired and look at my state of my hair against my tree. Let's go and say in the night to Mama G. Oh, too much Baileys. <laughs> She's in here with a little tree on. <laughs> I'm going to bed, no, no. I've got to tell you, uh, the baby was born to see Felix's mum today. She's gone home. Not yesterday, it's Monday today, isn't it? Not yesterday, week last Sunday. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is just the door is shut. The door is shut. I'll go to bed. Oh, I don't know why I've got such a belly ache. I think I've had too much Baileys. Too much chocolate Baileys and look at the state of my hair. Wow. Tomorrow, tomorrow we will actually get in with the um, party food, my lovelies. I know tonight we uh, stuffed our face full of the pie left over, but tomorrow, tomorrow is the start of the food. Oh, God, we still need to catch up on all our advent calendars. Aye, aye, aye. I need to get asleep. <laughs> Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow. It's another cold morning. Cold, cold morning. Mum said it hasn't snowed anymore, but it's frosty. So, um, I definitely need to wrap up. However, part of me is thinking, do they cope? But I really overheated my duvet coat, so I'm thinking maybe not duvet coat. I've actually got back my old AJ coat, which, fun fact, I like to normally buy a pair of boots and coat every winter. And I don't think I've bought a coat or boots this winter. Hey, I'm adulting. I'm trying to save money, eh? But um, this was my first ever like proper designer clothing item as well. It was when I was 18, my first Christmas in the kitchen and I'd saved, saved, saved. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to this jacket. It's very bougie. Um, I couldn't get it in, there's like a shop called like Choice, a bit like flannels and that online. Couldn't get it online. So I ended up actually having to get it from Harrods. And I've got it out and I don't know if it's going to fit because beforehand it never used to. Are you going to be on a wonk? You're going to stay there. Um, it never used to fit. So <laughs> I'm 
I'm thinking, is this the time to maybe try and see if it will fit? I need a lip balm, however, because my lips are like very sore. I think I've bit them in the night. Ow, and I don't know why. I need to remember my gloves because if we're going for a snowball fight again, Just a little nude gloss. I don't actually know where my gloves are. Oh, I think they're right there. So, this is the vibe we're going with. Just chucked on my old Ralphie. And this is my baby, my AJ. It used to be very, very snug on the arms. Oh my God, it actually fits. Oh, guys, it fits. Can I do it up though? <laughs> that will be the um, task if I can actually get it done up. I'm going in. Oh, let's get the hair out because getting hair caught in a zipper, not good. Oh. Mum, my AJ fits again. <laughs> Showing a wee. My AJ coat fits again. <laughs> She's in the middle of a wee wee. Should we go with earmuffs as well? Maybe not. I don't think earmuffs because we've got the little ears on the top. Should we go like this? Perfume. What am I going to do for today's perfume? I'm going to be basic and gravitate towards my baby, which is Jean Paul Gaultier, but also oh, just inhaled and ate it. Right. I need slightly... Oh, actually, no. I won't take a bigger bag. I'll take that because I'm actually going to <laughs> take my Christmas cardigan in because there's a man at work who I just know he's going to be dying to see it. Or do I leave that for another day? It might be too much for him because we've put tinsel on his desk and he's going to come back off holiday and he's a real bad Scrooge. I sod it, I'm going to take it. We're going to take it. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, the worst that can happen is he probably absolutely hates it and has a fit at me, but... Where's mum? She's been doing the car. She says she said it's frosty. Is she frosty morning today? Yeah, yeah, but I want you to get in. <laughs> oh, I'm getting in in a minute. Right, adios. Hello, my lovelies. Oh my God, what a day. What a blooming day. Lunch was fun. I went over and had another snowball fight. But the snow now is like really mushy. You know, like when you try and make a snowball and it's just like, yeah. It just crumbles so um i luckily found quite a few trees where the snow was still like ice yeah i was chucking ice balls girl don't play around okay i was like no nope, there's no way that you're all getting me let me tell you that but yeah the roads perfectly dead i was home in under half an hour again today that is very good for me normally it takes me about like 40 minutes but there's hardly anyone on the road so fabulous fabulous that is my simple request as you can see i'm in the bathroom i'm about to run myself a b-a-t-h bath um we've got peach and cinnamon candle burning and i'm just waiting for mum to pop in she's just putting some salt out the front because we can see what bits we're going to pop in for din dins tonight it is ms9 what am i fancying i don't know i'm fancying mm, i would say that i would like the garlic dough balls I don't think I would though. I'm fancying all maybe like the odds and bobs. I want to kind of do it like a sharing the dough ball thing with like maybe the mini steak sandwiches and bits of odds like that. And then have like an Asian y night like we did before with the dim sum. We can put the reindeer bowie buns and like maybe the prawn bits and then maybe have the rest. So maybe tonight might be like the Minish Cottage Pies, Haggis Neeps and Tatties, all like stuff like that. So mum should be back within like minutes as I say, she's just doing the whole car, bless her, bless her, all around the car. I'm like mum, it's fine. She's like, no. So once she's in, I will pop through, see what we're going to have for dinner, then that can go in the oven and I can run my bath and get warm because it's cold today. It was minus five. I think this morning when I woke up, oh, cold, let me tell you, 
cold. And also, I will um, show you when I get out of the bath what the Christmas cardigan looks like on. Foot looser here, great. Actually, no, I might show you before. I might show you um, before the bath. I'll put the Christmas cardi on while we're deciding what food to have and then you get a full view for it because the clip on the Primark ball, it corrupted and it was just a black screen. And it was so annoying because when I went back and watched the footage, it wasn't on there. It was only when it had exported to YouTube that the clip had got corrupted. Fabulous. Right, let's wait for mum. Go and put the Christmas jump pot on, cardigan, and see what we're going to have for dindins tonight. surrounding of the car is iced and also this is my christmas jumper because you guys didn't see it on the primark clip it got a uh, corrupted yeah it's very tacky but i love it everyone was like oh my god at work i was like i don't care so you would have seen an overview we're just gonna have some pies and like the snacky bits today because tomorrow i think we'll have the dough balls with the like little pinwheels and some steak sandwiches and then we can have a um Asian night with mm. your reindeer bowie buns mm. and all that. However, I've not had a lot to eat. However, I am snacking on some turkey combo MS crisp. We're gonna have haggis, neeps, and tatties. I'm very excited for these because if these are nice, we can pick some up for February. <laughs> and then water. Yeah, and then 10 mini cottage pies. And then, can you show the batter sausages? Because I need to stop the right. water. Right. And here, viewers, we've got uh, battered sausages for a moment. They look all right. Let me see what kind of dip we've got. Battered me. It's curry sauce in it. Chip shop oh. style curry oh. sauce. Oh, well, we'll, let, we'll let Shannon have the curry sauce. But, so, the pies take 15 minutes each. Likewise with that. Oh, you've got, why do you get two pies? One's cottage pie and one's haggis, neeps and tatties. Oh, all right, all right. But I want to try the mini sausages in the air fryer. Oh, then I want to try them because I think oh. they'll crispen up a bit nicer. Oh. However, as I say, I haven't had much to eat. I have just had some <laughs> turkey combo M&S crisp. So how many pies should we have each? Should we have them all in? All of them? Because I ain't had nothing. I've only had two soups today. <laughs> Let me turn the eating off. <laughs> turn the <laughs> I'm getting her on the uh, thing to say, like, right, come on, just a couple of hours a night at the minute. I'll train that in my boxes. You won't end up in your box. She's so dramatic. Isn't she dramatic? So we're going to have all of these in, yeah? I've had four soups today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah, haven't no. even had snack, man. All right, all right. Take that silver. I haven't even had snack, man. Oh, if you're doing that thing in your box. Oh, and someone said as well, you know when we put stuff in here and it sticks, just put a sheet, cut the um, greaseproof paper. Oh, what, and put it on there? And I it won't stick? No. Oh, have you heard uh, any more about that blue person? When we was watching that thing, they said we need to move no. this for <laughs> Um I told Mum about the clip that was, I think, in one of the last vlogmases that said uh, the house was overcrowded and it was cramped and we should move and everything, and Mum wasn't um, best pleased. But I oh. said, you get people like that. We haven't all got, like, a spare hundred grand just to move, so we make do with what we've got. I just thought it was a bit personal for us because this is our home. Would we do that to that person? Are they living in an eight-bedroom mansion? I'd like to know where they live. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have five neeps and tatties and five cottage pies and then as i say i no, want to put all. the yeah but we'll have five each because 10 and 10 yeah, 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 yeah. and then we're going to put the mini battered sausages in the air fryer i'm very excited for them i think they're going to come out good how do they smell first well i'm looking forward to the rich. things so this is rich slow cooked british beef mince with a creamy mashed potato and mature oh, cheddar cheese nice. and parsley. You can smell the cheese. Yeah, but you know what this smells like? You know when we went to uh, Lock Fine? Oh, Lock Fine oh, not there now? No, they closed oh. it in Blue Water. I think the only place is in London. We'll have to have a look. Yeah. Left me like a London um, Lock Fine and Bills. Yeah. So, let's get them all out on the trays, yeah. show yeah. you, and then shove the sausages in the air fryer. I'm really excited. Yeah. I hope that they go really nice. <laughs> Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas 
Christmas times. Oh. Right. So you would have seen an overview there. They look very nice. A lot of people laugh because they say that I hold all the tray and then you just have your little plate. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. And by the time that I've finished it, you've had like a mouthful. I'm like, what can no, I help no, it? I like no. my food. I like sure. my food. Um, the curry sauce, mum had a bit of a spillage with. Yeah. So we've got half a pot. I want to start with the battered sausages because these are definitely doing in an air fryer. Yeah. They've come out lovely. Thank you. Are you going to try it with the curry sauce? Uh, um, I might do, yeah. Just have a little, uh, little tiny one. Thank you. So. Oh, really nice. Are they battered cocktail sausages then? I think so. Oh wow. Curry sauce ain't spicy. Mmm. <laughs> not spicy. No, no, pass me a little bit then, I'll pass it for you. Thank you. It's sweet because it's chip shot curry sauce. Mmm. Oh. That's nice. Definitely good again, no? I think these were about fibre. Oh, very expensive. How many was there? 20? 15. Oh. It is M&S though. Yeah, yeah. You can read that thing about the logs. Well, when I go, I need to try and get one tomorrow at tea. Back on the Baileys. Go out on Friday. So then we got Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco, Nigel. Well, try and get up on the bus for a uh, thingy. We can't get to Morrison's. Right. I could, so, go, I could go down to uh, Aldi as well. There are your two spoons. I've got the spoons for the oh, pies. Oh, so, I oh. want one John try first. Haggis, snips and taters or cottage yeah, yeah. pie? Haggis, snips and taters. Yeah. So, these have got haggis, swede, Potato rolled in oats. Oh, that's hot. Oh, thank you. Oh, that hat. And as I say, we probably will be having a Burns Night vlog next year because me and Mum do yeah. love a bit of haggis and Burns Night. No, but when we went out, I I had the uh, the yeah. thing, didn't I? The the tatties and that in that bowl. But no, you, you had Cullen skink. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. What did you have? I had hoodoo. Oh, right. Because you had um, Cullen Skink and then you had sea bass, I think, for your main, mm -hmm. weren't it? Mm. With uh, cheesecake or something, wasn't it? You can sometimes just scoop it in one bite. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know you've not had nothing to eat. <laughs> this is why people say, I have the big tray. <laughs> the big... And mum takes her little worm plate out. You're not, a good you're not getting an oyster out, Shannon. Go on, girl, get it in. Mmm. I like these. Imagine if we bought a big pie like this. I wonder whether Eminus will do something for Burns Night. Well, they normally do, don't they? Did they last mm. year? No, no one normally does anything for Burns Night. If you know anywhere that does Is like that recipes for Burns Night. No, Burns Night is... um. Bobby Burns, isn't it? 26th or 27th of January, I think. That's something to, is that something to do with Scottish culture, Bobby Burns? I don't really know the history of Burns. No, like, no. Please don't come for me. Brogan will kill me. <laughs> She'll yeah. be like, Shad! Just, just ask her, say, Brogan, uh, what is Burns yeah. night? Yeah. Because it's not partial. Robbie, I think Robbie Burns, was he a poet? I don't know. But... Me and Mum like haggis all year round. Sometimes if we don't know what to do. We boil one and have... And we we'll see it on offer. We boil yeah. it, don't we? Yeah. But if you do haggis, how do you do yours? Because Dada does his in the oven. We boil ours, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So you do his in the oven? Hmm. Oh, I might be better for us rather than steam the kitchen up. Hey. But I like it because it goes soft. One, you want another one? Yeah, please. Are you going to try and do it in one spoonful? No. Chug, 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 no, chug. No. <laughs> It's only one tiny spoonful, Mum. I don't care. 
you know, people said like, I have the whole plate and you just take your little bits off. I hold the plate because it's hot. That's why I've yeah, got it on the tray yeah. today. I'm consuming way too much Baileys in the week, but hey-ho. Mm -hmm. I really like these mm -hmm. battered sausages. And what's this one with the uh, Sweden? Haggis, nukes and tatties. Oh. So they were 10 for £7.50. So it's 75p a little round. I went to Shannon, we didn't get much delivered. And how much do you spend? 60 pen. Hmm. We've probably only got... Have we got enough for but tomorrow and Thursday? I didn't get a lot because I knew I weren't here Friday. Oh, right, yeah. So I'll starve, yeah? <laughs> Don't worry about <laughs> Mama T, I'll just starve. You know, what's in the freezer? You've got all the duck rolls? No, oh, but I'm going to go to the chicken shop. I should have chicken shop when I'm not here Friday. I've not, I've not seen them for three weeks. We've done good. Since we've been doing this, we haven't yeah. had any takeaways. Well, she come in and thank me for the uh, advent calendar. And I said, I'll see you soon. And I, uh, they're probably thinking, what's happened? We haven't been having... Sausage, please. You want a sausage? We um, okay. haven't had... No, it's because we've been having... These bits? Yeah. I'll have to sell the lady. But there is still some other MS bits that I want to try. So stay tuned for the 24 hours eating Christmas food. Because, yeah, that will be coming very, very soon. I really like them little haggis needs. I think mm. Dad would like them. Mm. Well, if he watches this, I'm going to have to go to Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't. Wait, well, he probably won't watch them because they're such long videos. Well, no, he seems... You'll know if he does because he'll say, oh, Fats, that's what he calls mum. Fats, go Asda and get me them bubble and sweet. I do want some more of them bubble and sweet to put in the freezer because I like them. Yeah, yeah, but that they was only £2 for four, weren't they? £2 for two. Two, yeah. Turkey Wellington, I reckon he'd try them. Is that the little lettuce things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But are, probably... they, are they just for Christmas then? Yeah. Oh, so we might have to get a couple of boxes each. And then Tesco, he'd probably say about like the prawns and that. He wouldn't be one for like gyozas and stuff. No, but he does like prawns. So he'll say for prawns. He'll Spicy be very prawns. jealous when we have the um, prawn selection that we've got in this one because they look banging. Oh, I'll have to go down then. They literally, they do look really good. They're I'll all say to him, prawns. watch the blog. And I'll say, oh, no, don't watch the blog because I'm not going to run down there. I can't see him wanting, like, reindeer bowie buns. That's no, not no. his vibe. No. He might like the little... I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think we're going to do the uh, Christmas tree shaped in garlic dough balls. I didn't think that was too bad. When you see it, that was only a fiver. I think that's actually really good for that size. Oh, so you've got the garlic in the middle. They're all little the mini, go mini garlic and cheese dough balls, but they're in the shape of a Christmas tree. Oh, that's good. And I'm still them... trying to get the crumpets. I've got them to go with some little pastry wheels with yeah. some mini steak sandwiches and the little Welsh rabbit crumpets. Oh, all right. okay. And then on Thursday, it'll be quite light. We can try the prawns with the gyozas and the oh, bowie I mean. buns. Yeah, use them all up. Well, I don't think we'll eat eight bowie buns. I mean, you can probably oh, have some oh, oh. on Friday or whatever. No, no, I'm not having Friday, no. I suppose they go to waste. Oh, well, I have to eat them then, yeah. She'll have to eat them. Right, cottage pie. I'm really excited for these. These look really, really nice. I've got to have a different spoon. And well, I, I was going to have a different spoon, but I don't think no, I'm going to bother now. No. Right, the mini right. cottage pies. And these is this look... uh, m &S's festive menu then? Yes, so this is the m &S collection. Again, 10 for £7.50, 4 for 3 Um Right. So it's like Tesco's were a bit more expensive. And it is rich beef mince with potato with a cheddar cheese and parsley crumb. Oh, right. Down the hatch in mine. It's actually like a good little bit. Like you've got a good bit of mince in there. Yeah, that's nice, mm. isn't it? What do you think that, that they're not on par with Tesco then? Is it Mark's? No, has it always been sort of like expensive? Well, the battered sausages was from the M&S Normal Party Food for Christmas. Right. Which is like a black packaging. Yeah. Whereas these and majority of the other bits are M&S Food Collection. It's like a nice fancy... Yeah, yeah. So it's like the Tesco Finest. Kind of, yeah. yeah. That, the beef mince in that is like a proper thick ragu. Yeah. That is very flavourable. I know it is £7.50 for 10 
but that's 75p a bite and i think that's actually quite very nice for 75p like it's so nice down the hatching one you're gonna do down the hatching one no why not no because i don't want your viewers to think that i'm like that i, I like my food i know i know we like our food but I, and i don't want no more of them horrible comments <laughs> That's really up, not upset me, but it angered me. Yeah, but it's just people. No shame, but they've obviously come on your channel to watch something. If you can't say nothing nice, don't come on and watch. Don't be rude and intrusive. Mm -hmm. right, now, now, now let them watch that because that's a bit. That's a posh word that I've just said, intrusive. You know, that they they must just think me and you are just the old, uh, but it's our home. Yeah. And that, to me, it that is was a bit rude. Cluttered. I mean, my room is a mess at the minute. But you have to make do with what you got. Yeah, but Shane, do you think that that's right? You have to have your opinion and be rude to people. That is the world that we live in, Mum. No, but at least your other blog has got in there, which I was going to bet. Yeah, because if you ladies. saw that comment... Yeah. And you commented back to it. <laughs> I was having a right laugh reading that. But you just get people like that. And as people said, well, it's done so good to get your 5,000 subscribers. I mean, yeah. I can't be too bad. Oh, my God. I just had visions of her flicking that up and flicking it in her face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really think nice. that's bad. I think we'll have to try and get a, see if they, they do a proper shepherd's pie. Do you reckon that this... Shepherd's pie, if they did like a big a one. Pie. Yeah, yeah. Probably be expensive, but we That could be it. something we could do in the new year, like maybe um like comparing ready meals. Like quick and easy ready meals. Yeah, well we're not really a ready meal person. No, are but we? like getting a ready made cottage pie. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, I see what you mean. Let <laughs> that could be something if you want to see maybe yeah. like looking at um say like fast convenience, like storeable food. So say like Instead of paying ridiculous amount for takeaway pizza, we could taste test like a Tesco value against a Waitrose pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I do think that pizza is one of the most expensive takeaways for what it is when you can get such good pizza deals in all the supermarkets. Because in Austin, they do uh, good fellows, don't they? As though you can actually get the fresh pizza done. Yeah, Tesco's used to do that. I'm not sure if they do it. Tesco do Pizza Express. So why would you go and have a polo pizza for like fifteen pound when you can buy it for a fiver? And they do one of them Chicago with the uh, stuff stuffed crust. Yeah, oh. that could be something we could try. And like ready meals, like a quick and easy, like what we did with the um, as the value, like a chicken curry yeah. against like yeah. a gourmet chicken curry or stuff yeah. like that. I think we'll do bits and bobs like that. Right. I know it is expensive. This is the most expensive food shop. We've done so far for the least items, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you think of like as I think Tesco, I would say is the best value for money at the minute. Yeah, that uh, with the buns and that. Yeah, because they are the Tesco finest. Asda was pretty much just frozen food, so that for me is like proper Boxing Day picky food. Yeah, Tesco, I think you could actually do proper meals with. This is party food. There's no like main dish like you, we you, had the turkey you Wellington. Use all you didn't lose, use all them lollipops and all that. They've got from Lidl, did you, the Frozen's? No, we used all the lollipops and the... Uh, something else, I can't remember what we used. The gazos, the chicken. Yeah. So do you want me to get, get another pack no, Friday? we'll be all right for the minute. I'll have a think. I'll have a think. We should be oh, all right. Oh, what, for the 24 hour? Yeah, oh, I I'll have know. a think. Do you want another haggis, noops and tatties? Please. Thank you. Oh, I just love these. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. Jenny, I'll have to do a collab with Marks and Spencer, so I'll have to get some of these. <laughs> Mr. Marks and Spencer's now. Well, if you saw my um evening routine, I had my first proper big collab with HelloFresh. Yeah. And we kept on viewers. I said to Shannon, get on to Mr. HelloFresh. <laughs> I did um get on to Mr. HelloFresh before you think. I actually just had an email from their marketing team or like PR and was like, oh, we've seen your videos and that. So, so is, is that how people get on to influence then? They go through their things 
and the marketing people of the companies. I oh. think so. And then oh. they just, I don't know, they oh. emailed and said, we saw your content. You can see, like, you've tried it before. I think that's really good. I'm going to tell my friends. <laughs> Mum will be like, do you know that Hello Fresh thing online? Yeah, my daughter works with them. It's once. <laughs> no. Shannon, no, I'm proud of you. I like people to know that you're doing well. What are you Mr. swapping Hello at school Fresh. when you get your cups? Dad will be working and uh, they'd say your name and I'd be... Oh, tears way! Another achievement. That's what you do, isn't it? Dad, I was there for my primary school cup. That's right, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? There was one left there, weren't there? And you was just sitting on the thing. Was you, was you the little... Uh, was you in your uniform or was it... It was like Leaver's Assembly, wasn't That's it? That's it, yeah. I was thinking you was the little Robin. I don't think he came to my one or secondary school. No, no. I, I was there because that was a big company. You had to give that back and the other school, wasn't it? <laughs> no, one, one minute you had, wasn't it? I think but I've got my... School, um, you give back, wasn't it? I've still got my um, secondary school somewhere. Yeah. Don't know where it is, but... She, she was very good at school, viewers. A very good achiever. She liked school. Even when I didn't, when I was 13. But I don't did. know if Dada ever liked school. Never really asked him. Oh, I'll ask him for you then. That might, that might come in the shop thing. I'll, I'll have to find out then when your viewers say, did Shannon's dad like school? Shot it or say it. I'll say yes. Well, I was going to get him a book for Christmas, but I don't think he'll use it. You know, like I got you for your 60th, This Is My Life. Oh, yeah. Which you've still not started two years later. Oh, no, no. I will do. We will do, viewers. In the new year, she needs to start on that because yeah. that's like your memoir. It's been sitting there for two years, Mum. Is that two years gone already, I've got Shen? it for your 60th. Are you sure? Yeah. That weren't last year? No, I'll you're you're, you're trying to bluff me, aren't you? And I was going to get one for Dada, but I thought, I can't imagine him sitting there writing no, about no, his no. life. <laughs> no, <laughs> He'd do it on the back of a postage stamp, wouldn't he? Don't He's me. not really like a writer or a... Sausage, please. Oh, another sausage. Yeah. You want the curry sauce? No, thank you. Mm. He's not really a writer. I mean, all he writes is like a shopping list and a few words in a card, that's it. But you can guarantee if you get a Christmas card now, Shannon, it'd be the same word ten years ago. Yeah. He um don't change what he writes. Normally two Shan. And actually no, I don't even get a two, it's just Shan. Merry Xmas and sometimes a happy new year. Love no, dad. No, or have a kiss, good kiss, one, kiss. isn't it? Kiss, 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 that's yeah. it. Or I'll get Fats, Fats or Hugo. <laughs> no, so I I think sometimes just lately now he's getting old, I'll get gold. Mm. On the envelope. I saw a thing the other day, and it was this girl. She had her um, granddad's writing tattooed on her. Like they had a card, yeah, with his writing on, and she had it tattooed oh. thingy. And I was like, I might do that. I'll try and find a card from Nanny Golda because she used her funky writing. Yeah, she used to do all of her little squiggles and that. Similar to Auntie Seal, wasn't it? Yeah, very yeah. like over accentuated loop de loop. That's good, isn't it? So you would, I would say, take a card. They would trace the word, yeah. and then you have that tattooed on you. Oh! So I thought I might try and find that for next year. Either Shannon, because you used to write Shannon Lee sometimes in yeah. my cards. So I might have a look for that. But next don't year. have nothing for Dad because Dad's writing looks like an ant scrawled across it, isn't it? It's not, really small, not, isn't it? My writing used to be like that though as a kid. What small? It used to be really small. My signature used to be tiny, like Dada's. Now I'm like. <laughs> Well, you can see your name now, isn't it? But I used to do mine really small, like Dad, oh. on the back of my cards and everything. Now I'm like, la 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 la. They're like, can you sign it? I'm like, yes, yeah, squiggle. Yeah, but... Mum's signature I've been able to forge since I was about two years old. It's so simple. Yeah, similar <laughs> to my friend Nicholas Ryan. Nan, Blocks. Nan's kind of started off and then it just went to a squiggle at the end. <laughs> Nan what, used mama? to do the lovely big G. Yeah. Then she go, then it just goes squiggle. Then it, she get tired and just think, oh, that's it. <laughs> She just used to cross. She she weren't really a card person. She just used to say, right. She did. She used yeah. to write in the money wallets. Yeah, but I mean the colours, weren't it, for the money? Mm. You know? Red for them person. 
brown for them, and if you was really bad, a oh, green. You purple. You, oh yeah, purple. That's all right, or brown. But if you was really bad, you'd get a blue one. No, a green one, isn't it? Five off. Oh yeah, that's what it is. A green one. Yeah. What colours did you used to get? Reds. Yeah. Lots of reds. Mm. Sport. I won't spoil. Everyone got equal. No, the, I was just uh, appreciative more. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, you and your cousin got the same when you was eighteen. That's and what 21. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I. Everyone got equal. But I was more appreciative, and I used to pick up the phone and say thank you or go and see her. Oh, you see her a lot, didn't we? Even yeah. when Granddad was still alive, we used to go down, wasn't it? Nearly every Sunday would be down there. Saturday? No, we'd go down club, for Sunday dinner. Oh, yeah. Because I used to, when I was little, I used to have Sunday dinner at my nan and granddad's and then go home and have another Sunday dinner with mum and dad. <laughs> so that's where my love of Sunday dinners come from. Because they'd say, do you want a little one? I'd be like, yeah. And I wouldn't get a little one. I'd always get a full portion. But you wasn't obese when you was little, was you? No, I lost. I did have a bit of puppy fat, but I lost it when I went into secondary school. Yeah. Well, same yes, please. What else you want? Uh, the cottage pie one. Cottage pie? Yeah. I really okay. like the flavouring of that mince. Yes. I think that is very flavoursome. Bang on. As my G says, bang on. So um, we're going to continue stuffing our face, and then we'll probably check in before bed. We'll unbox all of our advent calendars. I'm not going to sit there and probably eat about ten days worth of sweets, but we'll unbox them. Yeah. And then yeah. I can put them in my sweet bucket. Yeah. And then the next vlog will start tomorrow. And we might do a few more naughty gongs. Mum's really in the uh, gong on the wonk spirit, isn't ya? She I'm loves thinking of ideas. <laughs> so tomorrow we've got two. Two, yeah. She loves thinking of ideas, thinking, oh. But you can get like a bit more naughty, you know. Because me, if I was to do it, I'd like pull a tree down or something. No. <laughs> no, you're not going to do that. No, it's really takes me all that time to decorate them, Shane. <laughs> Blimmin' hell. <laughs> They're not going to be that naughty. What if I put like, what if I just tip the honey and smeared it all on the no, top? No, no. Because I have to clean all this. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> she will um, be thinking of it. So we will check in with you later tonight. But 10 out of 10, I'd say. Yeah, what yeah. would you say is your favourite one? I don't know if oh, I can choose. No, I mean, uh, the neeps and tatties, I think. I'll probably say the cottage pie for me just because I love oh, the right. meats. Oh. But honestly, all on par. Oh, sausage, please. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Well, we was going to do our advent calendars. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and mum's asleep. So, no, <laughs> I think the um, food may have stuffed her today. So my lovelies, that will be for next week. But I don't want to wrap it on because I have a feeling this vlog is going to be quite long. Oopsie. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite part from part one of week three? Can you believe it? They're going way too quick, aren't they? But yeah, stay tuned because 6pm you'll have part two of the week. Take care and stay safe as always. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.